Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites, and hopefully add some awesome games to your backlog. Uh, awesome games like Frankenstorm, uh, a roguelite tower defense game uh, that is just perfect for, you know, right first thing in the morning, you're You've just woke up, it's time to have your coffee, you know, this game has kind of a, oh, how do I want to say, you know, hands-free, um, kind of a hands-free approach at times, you know, once it gets going. So, if you saw my first run, you know, I, I kind of went for a straight line approach, and I, I don't know that that was really the way to go. So what I want to do this time is to try and build a little bit more of a maze. Um, Ethan, the game's developer, and I were chatting on uh, Twitter, and he was saying, you know, it, it does take some getting used to, this game. Um, you know what? I, I'm going to scrap this whole design, actually. Okay, so they're going to start out on this green line. They're gonna come straight, straight in. And then they're gonna circle around. So let's go like this. And then let's go like this. And this is gonna be the beginning of our little death maze. I'm gonna keep this a little bit wide for now. And we're gonna just watch how this does. And then we'll be able to, you know, kind of put segments in and make them go, you know, around. Um, at least that's how it works in my head. I, you know, whether whether that ends up happening or not for us uh, is a completely other question. But I want to make this a little bit wider, just in case. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna start out with this. I know it, it looks a little funky, but um, oh right, right, right. Yeah, of course we need towers. So towers, towers, towers. Um, put one over there, and put one over here too, I think. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're gonna take a different approach from last time, and uh, we're gonna see how it works. I think it's gonna work okay. <laughs> I still want to know if that's uh, Ethan, the, the the dev, doing the. Uh, doing the sounds, <laughs> which I quite like. All right. Um, Ethan, if you're watching, you, you've got you've to come clean in the comments if that's you or not. All right. Uh, I, think, I think we're good. And then next time we'll take some additional wire and we'll start, uh, start putting this maze together if we can. Start doing some science, some real science. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, so let's do some wire now, and we're gonna put a little bit of wire over there, a little bit over here, see what we're doing. See? It's gonna make them go, oh shit, now we gotta, we gotta walk this way, and now we gotta walk this way. And the entire time they're doing that nonsense, they're gonna get torn up. Yeah, welcome to the goat maze. Roaches check in, but they don't check out. That's, that's how we're doing. Perfect! Alright. Ooh, salvage points. Okay, so these are part of the roguelite nature of this game, the uh, the meta progression. Um, we're gonna take those. Apparently you can uh, spend them. Um, oh, do we have another tower we did not put down? Come on now. Uh, we're putting that down. I think we just forgot about one. When we got the additional uh, wire is when that happened. Yep. yep, they're having to walk all over the place. All right, good. Good. Um, it's working. Okay. So, uh, let's... Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking we could even do this a little bit, bounce them around. We bounce them even more? No, I think that's good over there. Uh... Okay, so let's come back up now. And uh, going out. Okay. 
like what we got so far. Oh, you gotta, you gotta love it. Oh yes. I, he he stated it perfectly. Those are my feelings exactly. Now we're gonna take that out because that's a that's kind of a waste of a tower. Um, I think we're just gonna fill up our our death maze with towers here uh, because why not? We we use them all. Okay, we've got one more wire. Um, you know, we could do that. I think. Yeah, let's let's see let's see what that looks like. Yep, I like that. Perfect. Okay, plus eleven hit damage. That sounds pretty okay. Let's go with that. All right. Um, I think we are good to launch here. I like how they all look so happy and enthusiastic. You know, they're like, oh, God, this could be no big deal. This is the goat's house. You know, we've heard of him before from the last run. Uh, not so, folks. Not so. Just get ready to get fried. It's, it's more like it. Um, I say we just continue to fill up this area and make it a death chasm. All right. Maybe some additional ones in the, uh, the front there would be good as well. <laughs> yes! I'm with you, pal. Uh, all right, so maybe one additional one over here. Um, and why not over here? Right on the end. Right on the number there. Okay. Yep. Oh, you just love to see it. Okay. Let's go, um, let's go wire and towers. Uh, I am concerned that, you know, at some point they are going to start to get through. So it's probably time to start thinking about that a little bit. Um, you know what, that's it. Okay. We could do that, though. Just slow it down a little bit. Um, and then we can come up here, maybe? Yeah. Okay. So we can we can get them. We can create a choke point over here as well, which would be good because uh, we've got a lot of towers in this area as well. All right. Yep. So these runs are, I believe, already going better than uh, than the last runs I had. Uh, let's just prepare. So don't. Yeah. That. Wondering if that is the way to go. Nah, I, you know what? We could bend them up that way. Okay, that'll create a choker. Actually, we can take them all the way up there. That'll certainly take us more time to get through. Good deal. All right. Uh, then we could do this as well. Choke them over there. Okay, perfect. Um, that leaves a little bit of wire. Oh, we have another tower. Oh, la di da. Put that down. Okay. Good deal. Perfect coffee drinking game. You know I've got some dark matter in the cup. Yeah, this is going really well. Um, I think it's 5% hit damage. Yeah, this makes sense to me because the plus 5% is higher than the 4% they're getting. I know it probably doesn't work that way because math, but... Uh, you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and believe that that's the way it works. Uh, perception is reality. Okay. Oh yeah! Wow! I mean, we're doing really good. That's the first time they uh, they nabbed one on me. Um, all right, so here's here's my uh, my thought on that. More choke points. How about that? So we'll choke them over there, I think. Uh, can we choke them over here a little bit more? Sure. Sure we can. Um, let's see. Can we maybe? Yes. I think yes. Okay. That should slow them down too. 
Um, okay, we can't we can't block that off. That is one rule. Found that out last time. Uh, all right. Just trying to think how we can, you know, maybe we can bend them that way a little bit. Uh, a little bit further out. Okay, I don't want to go too much just because you know, I'm not sure what it's go what their path is going to look like when they, you know, start to come back around. But I mean, this this maze is working quite well. I mean. Yeah, yeah, buddy. All right. Um, Let's go with the wires again. You know, I don't necessarily have uh, use for them right now. See, that doesn't even really do anything. Um, we could start to come out here, I suppose. Uh, but like I say, I, I want to see how that path is going to look. And then, you know, now we can put some additional guns over here in these choke points. So I still got two more. Yeah, it still makes sense to. <laughs> down. Okay, so that's a tower. Nice. We'll, uh, well, let's put that over there. Wave 15. I think my highest is 21. So, you know, it's coming together. One switch down! Yeah, but they're not even getting close to coming out. Um, plus 5 hit damage. Enemy chance based effects occur plus 14. Okay. So I think. Enemy and tower chance based effects. Oh, okay. So this is a double whammy against me. Um, we're just going to go with that. Hopefully they're a wash. It is interesting that you've got to, you know, pick a help me hurt me several times over. It looks like we're going to get some powers next time. That's awesome. Nah, it's only one switch. <laughs> I like a good help me hurt me in our uh, roguelite and roguelite games. Um, it makes it interesting. Okay, so I, you know, I think we're going to put them over here. Still need to see what that, you know, what that additional wave is going to look like. Not additional wave, but I mean, you know, once they come back around, like how they're gonna, down. you know, how they're gonna go. Okay, perfect. I think this is gonna get super interesting because we're gonna see the later areas. Uh, minus 10% enemy resistance. Towers have plus 3% chance on hit to stun an enemy. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds all right. I know. Oh, nice. Man. Okay, now we're One talking switch here. switch down. Good luck. <laughs> uh, that was pretty awesome. All right, so we got another tower happening. Um, I don't know. I think we just keep going further and further out. But we've got plenty of wire. Okay, good deal. You know, it might be able to put switch. Be another choke point in here now that I'm looking at their, their path. Um, let's see. No, I don't want to give them health regen, so we're going to go wires. Um, yeah, it looks like there might be an opportunity. Would that slow them down even more? It might. Uh, you know, I can't, it's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. Um, we'll go with that for now. Uh, you know what, though? We can create a choke point just like that. You know, this, I'll, I'll say this. Now that I kind of understand the strategy happening here a little bit more, this is a lot more fun. Um, you know, I enjoyed it uh, when I played it the other day as well, but, you know, now that I'm able to kind of understand 
the approach here. Because it had been a while, you know, since I'd played a, a good power defense game. Um, it is more fun. Wow, two towers. Look at this. Good deal. Um, all right, so let's... I think we, we have to continue going outward, you know, because eventually they are going to start to make it through. Um, so let's... Let's continue in that fashion. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh, one switch down. Uh, I'm so you'd love scared. To see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, minus four percent out of me, max life. But enemy resistance. Uh, ooh, intense gadget to reach. Plus 10% attack radius, plus 12% hit damage. You know what? I'm two to the good here. We're going to go with that. Uh, okay. Now, do we want to go additional choke points? I, you know, I think the answer is always yes, right? Oh, okay. So we'd be blocking them off. All right. All right, all right, all right. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, okay, so then you know what? So now we'll come up a bit, right? Would that block them off completely? Oh, there we go. There's a choke point. Beautiful. All right. Uh, and then this will continue going out. And we'll eventually create a choke here. Well, we'll just do that right now, I suppose. All right, good deal. Yep, that works. The poop is in the pudding. Let's see how far they get here. I think this is a good speed, too. I've, I've sped it up one. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, so I don't want to give him life, Jen. Minus seven percent attack speed. Wait a second. Okay, so this is minus seven percent attack speed. Oh, that that must be for me. But usually this is an enemy thing. All right, we're gonna go with this. I, I believe that slows them down, and and that was uh, both of those things were a benefit to me. But I'm I'm not sure because typically that's not how that works. Um, all right. Going here. Uh, we are going to get some additional it's powers. One it's beautiful. Switch. It is nothing. And I think we're going to. I think we're actually going to go back over here. Only one switch left. Oh. Stay back. Oh. Stay back. Okay. <laughs> so they do have to come through our towers again. That was that scared me for a moment. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay, you know, we'll put we'll put one additional over here, and uh, we'll go one additional over here. I think that's fair. Okay. I noticed that they're not getting uh, shocked as much anymore. How are they getting through? Stay back! Stay back! <laughs> okay. Yes! Um, huh. I could go hit damage, maybe. Just one extra salvage points. Um, uh, boy. I... I guess... I guess we'll go this way. Um, all right. So we didn't get extra towers, but I wonder if we can kind of block their path off a little bit so that they continue to get torn up. I think we could. Oh, we're out of wires. Okay. Oh, we're getting, we're getting two more towers next time, so that's great. Do they think they could take me down with just one switch? So 
what I'll do is I'll put a couple towers How up here since you know, they're making it most of the way now. Stay back. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> huh. All right. Um, you know what? I'm almost thinking that let's take this away. And let's bring this out a little bit more. And that, you know, that pushes them out. I mean, we could, technically, we could wrap them around, um, you know, further out. And then kind of create some choke points where we brought them back over here so that these towers could get them. I think that's what we're going to go for. Um, let's see if we can make that happen. And I think put this one over here so that it can attack them on their way in and their way back up. Okay, looks like we're going to get more towers. Uh, I still want to more of these. Excellent. All right, good. Okay, so that, that works. That strategy works. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring them back around. We're going to take the towers, of course, but next time I get the opportunity to uh, get more line, um, we're going we're gonna to do that. So let's put another one over here because it'll hit them as they're wrapping around. And then we'll figure out a way to make them hit all of these as well. It's, it's going to be beautiful. This is my master plan. Uh, and I'm officially much further than I've ever been before. Now, I think we're going to go with tower and wires. That'll make sense to do that. Okay. What? Shields and getting still, in. it's doing exactly what I hoped it would. Okay. Um, man, it's hard to not take the two towers. Because we could wait until it's just wires. Let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, the towers at the end of the day are really what, what drives this whole thing. Um, so I do think that's the way to go. Let's, uh, let's throw a tower over here and over here. We're just gonna, gonna slather them along here because my hope is to take the crowd down through it's this direction only one switch. No matter. and have them go in via this, and they're just gonna get blasted the entire time. That's the that's the goal. Let's weak. let's see if we can the is down. make it happen. <laughs> okay, minus 62% hit damage. Whoa, explosion radius. Uh, we don't want to do that. Plus 6% chance when hit to gang. Plus, ooh. Enemy and tower chance-based effects occur. Enemy and tower chance-based effects occur. Plus, uh, oh, I don't want to give them life regen. Um, hmm. What to do, what to say. I mean, if I get the shock more often... Oh, these are all pretty yucky, man. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that. That was that was a tough choice. Well, we're getting our wire, uh, so that'll be good. Plus seven wire, so we'll start to wrap them around a little bit, which will help quite a bit, I think. Here they come! Oh, they are making it further along, man. Okay, good thing for the wire. Um, oh, am I out of it already? Dang it. All right. Well, hopefully that adds a few more shots along the way. I mean, all of these will get them a few additional times. I still and my have hope is, like I was more. saying, we'll just continue it further down along this way, and we'll load this area up with towers. Okay. How are they getting yeah. through? I mean, that's 
it, it is working as intended. Um, okay. All right. Okay. So we got to keep going with that. That's that seems pretty good. Enemy chance-based effects occur minus 5% more frequently, plus 4 hit damage, 0.6% enemy max. That's ah, more regen. Um, I am thinking this is the way to go. Let's do that. Okay, we need more wire. Badly. Uh, I wonder if it makes sense to pull these two, because it's still a choke point. Um, and then we just drag this out a little bit further, and they get hit by these. Well, at least they start to. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, hopefully this works. By the way, if you haven't seen this uh, this game before, Frankenstorm. Uh, if they get through, you know, it's not like you've got a series of hearts uh, like in, in other tower defense games. Um, they get through, through, you're dead. No! Oh, the shield boy. is down! I don't know about this. Boy. Oh, no! Oh, goodness! Oh, no. oh my thoughts exactly. All right. Well, that was that was excellent. Um, it looks like I have enough here to get a, to take maybe a permanent buff back. I've got a total of twelve. So um, let's see here. Is there something that I want to start? Clear filters plus thirty-eight percent hit damage. Uh, huh. Okay, you know I'm not I'm not quite sure how all of this stuff works yet. Um, firm exit, you can still salvage. Oh, can I? Now oh, wait a second. Clear selection. Yeah, you know I'm still learning how all this stuff works, so I'll just exit for now. Um, but that's where we're going to cut this one off. Uh, if you enjoy tower defense games and a good roguelite, and if you're here, we already know you do, um, give this one a look. You know, uh, I, I think it releases uh, on Steam today. So you should be able to uh, check this out as in today, uh, let's see, November 23rd, I believe. Uh, so, <laughs> still waking up, man. That's how it, that's how it goes. Uh, but this is enjoyable, and um, it does make you think. You know, the choices between each uh, stage. It's nice. It, it, it adds a, it, it adds another layer to your typical uh, tower defense game. So, check this one out. This is Frankenstorm. All right. Well, you have a good rest of your day. Take care. And we'll see you next time on the Goat Force Gaming Channel. Later!